Nothing but vibes and energy in Pyro Radio this Monday night. If you just joined us, where have you been? You've missed so much. <laughs> So much. We had Craze 24 in the building, Hey Reezy in the building, and brand new music as well from likes of Frankie Stay Woke, Kreplin Conan, to name just a few. And of course, every show that I do on the Monday between 5 and 7, we call hashtag JFresh and Friends. And it isn't just about me. I'm not that guy. It's about the brand new music that I love from mod of hip hop and grime and artists who are doing the most right now as well. Got a relative newcomer to the scene, but don't watch that. He's sick. My like Johnny in the place. Welcome, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big up, big up, big up, Jay Fresh. Big up, Power Radio every time. Yes, yes, it's good to have you here. Now, I know this is your first time here in the building <laughs> because as we said just off camera and off mic a minute ago there, uh, your music game is, or your music journey, this is kind of almost starting position. That's it, literally. Exactly. So how long, let, let's, let's go back before we go mm-hmm, forward. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. for you, how long have you been in the music game? How long have you been doing tracks? Ah, uh, see, I've been in and out for what, at least two to three years, but mm-hmm. that's more on a producing skill. Yeah. Making tracks in the studios, maybe even a year, if not less. So getting it together, other than that, I was just planning it, working mm. it, working it. And now the first release grind has come out and it's coming with some confidence, coming strong for them, you know what I mean? Definitely, man. I mean, like I said, I, I always do my research yeah. when I invite people on the show. I only invite people on my show who I rate, I whose music that I, that I think that. is I dope. That. And I was looking, I'm like, Grinders doing wicked. 80K Spotify streams already, videos getting some good feedback. No, I'm course. like, let me find some more tracks. Forever and I was digging. No. I was digging. It's a freestyle <laughs> vision of it. So straight off the blocks, one track, like yeah, not yeah. to get weighed down by numbers, mm. but 80k on Spotify so far. No, of course. Gotta be a happy guy. I'm happy still, <laughs> yeah, man. The support's crazy, man. Forever grateful. Honestly, honestly. Like, ah, uh, it's a dream come true kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Starting out the gates and it's literally power on, you know what I mean? Exactly. And uh where we are here at Pyro Radio Whitechapel, of course Bowie Free. Bow out, bow, 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 E3. That's the place, man. Started up, come out strong. Exactly. And it's a place that features heavily in the video for the track as well. That's it. Roman Road. Stomp and Grind. That's where I'm from. That's where I came up. And it's just literally a, a testament to what we have to come through. And so yeah, we're grinders, you know what I mean? Had to be done in the video. Now, i got a quick question about the video. Okay, go on. In the opening kind of sequence, you're kind of walking and moving backwards through yeah. like the market kind yeah. of bit. How many takes did that? <laughs> <laughs> you know that's a good question that's like the first time someone asked me that I mean uh, literally there was back in the you could imagine one take I'm just going through going through I bump into a woman that's like I'm like sorry sorry shit but I didn't mean that next time knocking all her food yeah, over yeah, yeah, a yeah. kid falls out the yeah, pram it's like, just lawsuits I'm like, everywhere shit. <laughs> sometimes I'm, I'm walking back I'm not even saying my lyrics yeah it was a joke so it was good but it was a good experience to even do that you know what I mean and it, it did certainly come across with, with the visual now that it's so important when you have a track, you have a, a, a video that makes sense. Yeah. The, the, it really connects. Mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. you were performing that track. Literally. You were expressive about what was going on. Literally. So it all kind of made sense, man. Yeah, 100%. I wanted to give a look like a vlog style kind of theme and it's being authentic as hell, man. Because mm. that's, that's what people reciprocate to. They react to that, you know what I mean? It's so important. And I think no matter where you're from or what your background is, you're you. Yeah. Whoever you are, you're you. That's me. And then there's, with Insta, with Spotify, you can find those fan bases in places you might never think. Exactly. You might have the maddest fan base in like Hungary <laughs> or in New Zealand and then be doing shows and tours yeah, and merch there. out there. So no, you never facts. know, man. You never know. Facts. Um, now, talk to me about some of your musical influences. Obviously, I've got a bit of an idea already based on where you're from, but your kind of musical influences growing up yeah. and then being involved in music. Who are these kind of people? What are the kind of names? Um, yeah, so as you know where I'm from and that, you've got the wildest, you've got digital schools, they're a big impact on us, of course, because coming up, they're just there, make setting trends and making it a reality. Like, raw, it doesn't matter where you're from, you can do something mm. and make it happen. So that was that. But then in terms of general music, anything I come across so... I'm Caribbean, so Caribbean music, just vibes, like wave, you know what I mean? Wavy music, like just things that make you get up, bop, have a bop your head or get up and do something. That's those those of kind of tracks, sorry to cut you at the end, want those kind of tracks that as soon as you press play or your your brethren's in, he's got the Ox cable in your car and he goes, let me play this one for you. As soon as they hit play, you're like, uh. Who's that? Who's that? that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know about that one. <laughs> you, got, you, got, what, you got, you got, um, what's the course? Got Shazam on a low key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a low key, you got Shazam this Yeah, yeah, I, I know about this one. I know yeah, about yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're banging it for ages, bro. Yeah. Shazam, Shazam. Shazam, that <laughs> shit. Hey, so, yeah. Facts, 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 facts. Oh, has to be done, facts. man. Now, I think it's important that we get into the track that we've been talking about right now. So I'd love you to give us an intro right now, please, bro. That's it. Uh, let's go get it. Yeah, big up my track, man. You know, I guess first track in its debut, coming out strong. Big up all the man and big up all the support. It's everything. Bow. Grinder. 
Brand new UK music for you right there. Johnny with Grinder. It's Pyro Radio. It's Monday night. And as always, we bring dope new artists through on the show. And Johnny's joining us right here. Welcome, bruv. You're still with us. Big up, big up, big up, big up, Pirate Radio, big up, Jay Fresh, yes, all the time, yes, love. Yes, yes, nothing but love. Now, how are you feeling about the reception to this record? Because some people get like obsessed with numbers, mm. other people just like the positivity of what they might see online or messages they get personally. How, how do you kind of assess the reception? I'm going to so just far? tell you straight 100, like, oh, this is actually crazy for me because everything's new. So, you can, mm. I didn't know what to expect, number one. And number two, my thing was to get heard. I wasn't trying to go on a numbers flex because I ain't released nothing anyway, so I'm not expecting, yeah, let's blow, let's make a meal. Like, it's not deep. It's more of a thing of get my message across. Mm. People can convey that. And obviously, hear me for what I am and build psychophenic. That's the case. Like, and obviously, that's what I've been given. People even responded to me different. Like, oh, what, you're an artist now? And I'm like, I don't even know I was an artist. Like, just saying, it's new to me. So, yeah, yeah. It's just that feeling is good, that it's positive. Good, that's really good to hear, man. Now, to start the interview, you said that musically you kind of started off in a kind of production lane. Yeah. And then moved over to the artist lane. Are you still going to kind of have a have a foot in both areas or are you kind of focusing a bit more on the artist side of things? Right I now? act simultaneously, I actively, the, both of them. I'm a producer and an artist. There's no in-between, there's both that's coming you. me. Yeah. Has to be. <laughs> Has to be. It wouldn't make no sense if it was anything different. Of course, man, of course. Now, yeah. I know um, the vibe I get for you, because this is the first time we've connected, that, um, you know, music can serve many purposes. Mm -hmm. It can be a way out. It could be trying to say that message. It could be a combination of the two. It can be about having fun as well. Yeah. But for you, I get the feeling that this is very much just something within you. It was mm. always going to come out. You'd, be, <laughs> you'd, you'd have been there, like producing beats for people, recording vocals, and being so that's like, crazy. And being like, yeah, 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 this is good. But like, I can body you on this. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be surprised. You know, it's funny. I was the guy. My boys used to laugh at me because I used to, I used to be the ad lib guy. You can imagine everyone singing the track word for word. Yeah. Me, it will come to that last word where music starts getting low and it's that word we're going to say when everyone cries out and even the song, the DJ might turn off the, the, the tune for everyone to scream out the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah. I'm screaming the wrong word. So it might be something like car. I'll be like, plane. <laughs> Everyone like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, am I dropping the four top? I'm like, free door. You know what I mean? It's that. <laughs> so it's crazy, man. It's... Nah, don't lie to me. You're there going, yeah, yeah, remix. A remix, remix, literally, remix. Literally, literally. I was known for the re remix in any song. Remix in the ad -libs. <laughs> Literally, anything. So music was always in me destiny like creatively I was always creative I always had something about me that I was fighting to get out definitely yeah, you're right yeah. in saying that no no it's good right to hear man that. and in terms of um, kind of like your team or the people around you or maybe there's people who've been involved in music longer who are giving you a bit of guidance yeah. or maybe there's family members who are really supportive who, what, how does that kind of look like for you um, yeah I've got some strong, some strong members around me and they've actually pushed me on both lanes production and artistry oh, and um Working with them has been influential because they've grown as people, I've grown as a person. So me doing that and having the opportunity to be around them, it's like it's match made, you know what I mean? Mm. I didn't ask for it, but it's lottery sometimes. Mm. You don't you, know, you don't ask for it, it's given to you sometimes. And I feel that's where I'm at right now. And if I don't chase it or push it to the levels that I can, then I want to make nothing of it. Exactly, man. It's all about making the most of those opportunities you get it. as well. And, and you know, as your records get bigger and you put out more records mm -hmm, and you come mm -hmm. on radio and connect and do features that's and all this it. stuff and it goes forward your kind of message spreads. That's it. That's and more it. people are aware of you from all over the place, which is wicked. Uh, we are coming towards the end of uh, 2019. So I know obviously that was your debut track. Yeah. So I can't yeah. say how was the whole year for you. No, I, I, yeah. But in terms of like moving forward now, like early 2020 and things like this, are there bits and pieces you're working on that you can tell us about? Mm -mm -mm. Or, or maybe there's some objectives or goals you want to achieve? Of course, of course. Um, objectives wise, before I start about releases, is more me getting the sound an authentic feel or just my feel and my personality out to the world to my expression yeah. that's my number one thing so Sick. you're gonna feel my personality you're gonna understand me as a person and what i've got to give my story and then in terms of releases you might see me again this year before the year's end <laughs> i might end up a bang you know what i mean <laughs> little sneaky one <laughs> little sneaky one a little <laughs> left hook right hook bow you drop you know what i mean <laughs> and then um but 2020 we're coming to raw man we're gonna come and just race mm. through the whole thing man there's no playing games I feel like you've got a real strong foundation now yeah, from the end of this year, moving into next year. That's your plans correct. and you're ahead of the game and everything you can start to strategize and put things where you want to put. So it's wicked, man. Uh, what is the best way for people to keep in contact with you and, and all your movements? Um, so best thing right now, I'm building my Twitter. My Twitter's kind of terrible at the minute. I started later But that's on just that. Twitter, isn't it? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Insta's life now. Yeah, like, Insta, yeah, so Instagram's the best way to find me. That's Johnny JC. And that's a double E at the end. I'll repeat that. Johnny JC with a double E at the end. 
end um i do have a youtube channel i'm working on and i'll be posting up vlogs and even like tutorials maybe on my productions Sick. but i don't want to give away anything just shit that's a little <laughs> i've given you just a tiny bit to now you give me a bit thank you yeah there's a tiny bit of what can be done and that's other than that yeah Wicked, wicked. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us in the studio, brother. It's yeah, great to connect, means man. A lot, man every and like time. I said, keep me updated with the music and everything like that. And more importantly, thank you for putting up with me having the worst case of man flu ever. I'm trying not to cough on the microphone. Bro, you're not the only the one voice Ill. is going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I caught it as well, fam. I, I was on the, um, Robo Tuscan. <laughs> I've been on it all morning, bro. <laughs> Love that, love that. But we don't condone any any use of any narcotics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let, keep, let. let's keep it moving. Johnny, thank you for joining us Every on the time. show. And don't forget, check out his latest track and loads more new material on the way from him. But right now, Pyro, we're going to continue.